Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to another video. Um, I am now working on the Castle Bailey, the first Bailey. And basically I'm just laying out the, the base for it. Uh, obviously the name is the King's Mountain Castle. So as we get further back into the castle, the mountain's gonna get a little bit higher. So there's gonna be a lot of rock work on this build. <coughs> as you can see here, I'm just um, working through um, some of the edge um, just underneath the walls. And, uh, you know, I chose to do this uh, dark tan because of the choice of castle color using the dark bluish gray. I wanted it to offset. Um, and here you can see kind of like the base framework um, underneath the Baileys are built with primarily Duplo blocks. They're, you know, they're inexpensive in most cases. They can, I use used ones. I just buy cheap used ones off of BrickLink um, in large quantities so that uh, I have plenty enough to build up my, uh, my floor for the Baileys. And I'm, I'm using the, uh, the olive green and some of the dark green down along the base wherever the water is. And you can kind of see that. I'm going to continue the water on down through the, uh, the side of the bailey there. And basically, I'm just, uh, I'm just basically building up the walls here uh, to kind of frame in, frame in the bailey. Um, the bailey is rather large, the first bailey, as you can see. It's a it's a huge chunk. Um, as you can see there, I just kind of stair stacked some um, Duplo bricks to sturdy up my walls, and then I'm just facing it with the dark bluish gray and the the stone textures, just to uh, obviously save bricks and give it some strength. Overall. This section is still fairly lightweight. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how light it will be once the two brown towers go on. The uh, The back side of the bailey has two of the large round towers, which were featured on my Instagram prior. Um, it was just a shell, obviously, in the Instagram photo. But these are full round, 360 degrees. So i got two of those big boys going in here. And right here you can see I'm, you know, I was kind of messing around with how my hinge hinge bricks are going to break off of that stud wall there so that we can see how my tower base is going to start flowing out of the, the straight wall. And just, um... Moving along here, putting some uh, arrow loops in. I do plan to add quite a bit more detail to the rock work. The, the dark tan rock work that you see here is just the base layer. Um, I'll be adding vegetation and, you know, plants and various patches of grass and, and whatnot over the top so that uh, it's got some really nice detail in it. I have big plans for the landscape on this build. But for now, it's just the naked rock. Anyone building large scale uh, builds like this, I would suggest using Duplo to strengthen your, or raise your, your build. And Duplo, they actually have quite a few large plates the Duplo plates have come in great handy uh, while building this. Um, the big 8x16 eight by, eight by bricks stack on Duplo so easily. So you can run a, a set of Duplo plates underneath and then just run your big bricks over the top to create a, a nice solid building surface. And this bailey is actually strong enough for me to sit on. So I was pretty impressed with the uh, the overall strength of it. Which is good, because like I said before, this castle is going to be on the move, so it needs to be strong. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. 
be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future content.